Okay, the first thing we're going to do in this uh, tactical decision game is orient you guys to the table. Um, so it's important for you to understand a few things. First thing is that north is this direction as indicated by the blue arrow. The uh, scale of the table is one mile by two miles. The fuel type here is a ponderosa with a grass understory. Um, vertical rise on this terrain is approximately 1,200 feet. You can see that we have a dry creek running through the uh, west side of the fire area. And we have a bridge that crosses that creek that will give you access up into a subdivision. This is the Pleasant Valley subdivision. Um, our fire is located right here, and it's approximately one acre. Is that any questions? I might have missed it, but this is an intermittent stream, or is, it, uh, is there water in it? From the air, you'll see that there are uh, pools occasionally throughout this stream. Oh, okay. Will those pools support a Mark III? They'll support a Mark III with a little bit of work. The ridge a natural barrier? The ridge is a natural barrier. And is the black clean black? Black is clean black. Do we know if those houses are, uh, people are in them or are they vacant? Or? We do not. It doesn't appear as though there are any people there now, but we don't know for sure. And what resources are available to us? Uh, you currently have one other Helitac crew. That's the Boundary Waters Helitac crew to Sierra Juliet. And you have two Type 4 engines and one volunteer engine. That's the Mud Flat Volunteer Fire Department. OK, I'm going to go into the fire scenario. It's July 27th at 1100. The temperature is currently 84 degrees, predicted to rise to 98. Relative humidity is currently 20%. Should drop to about 18% this afternoon. Wind is currently three to five out of the southwest, and it's predicted to be out of the northwest, 10 to 15 miles an hour by 1500. Any questions? Any other weather anomalies that we should know about? Are there thunderstorms in the area? We had Any thunderstorms predicted? roll through yesterday, which is what started the fire. There are none predicted today. Looking at the fire scenario, it looks like this would be a high priority fire, but are there any other fires um, near housing developments that would have a higher priority than this? There are other fires, but we haven't uh, prioritized these fires yet, but based on the fact that there are homes here, this is a fairly high priority. What we're going to do now is I would like you guys to think about the approach that you made, we did a good recon around the fire and then landed on the top of the fire above the subdivision. Everybody's out of the helicopter now, and I'm going to give everybody three minutes to formulate a plan of action. And when the three minutes is up, I'm going to select an IC to communicate their plan of action and execute that plan. Any questions? Did you mention what we have in terms of communications? Do we have radios and who? Is there like a dispatch center we could contact to get more resources if we needed them? Yes, you have ra two radios and you have three frequencies. You have the forest frequency, which will put you in contact with Pleasant Valley Dispatch. You have an air to ground frequency and you have a scene of action frequency. 